to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Welcome to Ross Patterson Revolution. Whoa! Oh, I did not know that was going to happen. A little bit scared. of the bubbly for one of our favorites. Barnes Courtney is here. How many people sing to your face? Um, just Stop. my mom. High, strong, young, and dumb. No, yeah, we yeah. have no fear. All I ask is that you constantly placate me with my own song lyrics. Oh my gosh, I will. I will. I said to my manager, I will not do the show unless I'm being complimented constantly from beginning to... Do they know all the words to my songs? Oh, Bones, I'm not going to... Do they know all the words to my songs? Not only do we know the words to your songs, but our children know the words to your songs. Yes. Because you don't really swear that much, which is great. Um, you, you were... In my opinion, I know we... we <laughs> fuck you, dude. Fuck you, dude. Yes, fuck I do. Yes, I is that do. A, I'm, I'm cool. Whore. I'm streetwise. I'm down with the kids. <laughs> is that a choice in any way, or you just like don't feel like you have to? Well, I've dedicated my life to baby Jesus, and I just feel as though I should sort of maintain a certain level of composure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, great, yeah, yeah, great. yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm going to ask you some real shit, because there's one lyric in particular that I was like, I guarantee you the fucking label changed this. You ready? Yeah. We used to sleep all day and fuck all night. I'm convinced it was fuck all night instead Where of talk all night. Where were you in the writing sessions? Was it? Was now it you made me feel no? like a pussy. Was it? Was it really no, fuck all night? No, I don't fuck all night. <laughs> <laughs> you know I have terrible difficulty chatting up women. I feel inferior. I start thinking about my mother. <laughs> Do you like uh, spoons? Was that true? No, it was, it was always sleep all day because it's about... But no, no, sleep all day and talk all night is, is the actual lyrics. It's about being a child in the 90s yep. and feeling estranged from the core of your being as an adult. So it's sleep all day, talk all night. How much, how much were you getting laid at the age of 11? Probably right. a lot. But well, here's the thing. So you always talk it up, right? So I had figured that it was in there and then maybe the label pulled it and then you were like, all right, First cool. of all, the label didn't give a fuck. Really? That's why I left. Oh, Virgin were not interested at all. That really? album was nonstop hits, dude. Yeah. That's what I told them, and I said that at least twelve times on the internet, and nobody bought it. No Isn't one. That fucking crazy. Well, no, though? I had. To, I tell a lie. I had my biggest single to date off that album. We, yeah. we, it yeah. was. It was great. But uh, I only got into this game for the women and the drugs. I don't actually like music and the money. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. And I have received none of those things. So until I feel like I'm balling as much as Drake, I will continue to whine. Well, yeah. I'm gonna stop you there because you just right now have gotten drugs. That's true. Right? So you've got drugs in your drink so, right now. Boom. I've never had someone just casually pour a bushel of mushrooms into my coffee before. That, is that the actually weirdest is shit a ever? nightmare. I feel yes. that's my absolutely personal nightmare. bizarre. Yeah. I'm sailing on the concrete waves of oblivion right now. I don't even know who I am. <laughs> so, then, by I... the way, for, for the audience, this is a true story. Outside, there was a dude who was like, hey, man, I've got liquid mushrooms, and he's just pouring around. No, no, no. Drinks. It was like it was uh, like crushed mushrooms, like paprika. Like a yes. powder. Yeah, yeah. And he just sort of like poured it in, and I was like, well, I guess I'm doing this now. Yeah, and, uh, and, uh, and then here we are. Um, hence the, the, the sunglasses. We wouldn't ask you to take them off at this the point. The sunglasses are a defense against people seeing into my soul. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. moment I take these off, I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. I'm freaking the fuck out right now. You know Who shitty? brings mushrooms to a podcast? I, dude, it was not us, by the way. No, it wasn't no, us. It was you not know, us. God damn it. Is, what shitty is, he did that yeah. and then he left. He he's left. walked away. Do you know what I mean? So he's like the one person, right? Take that responsibility you came for with? what you've made, you know? Yes. I would fucking kill someone if they dosed me with mushrooms and then we're like, hey, bro, I'm out. I don't I tried, know. I tried, but I'm too placated <laughs> That's by the, the drugs. Worst. Like, ah, ah. Yeah. Right? Then he morphed into my own father and I couldn't hit him and it was just it was a weird time. It, right. It, but in, in defense, he, it does look like his father who did that. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Are you my new hair. dad? Yeah. 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 Long hair, little gray. Like it was, it was like, hey. Daddy? Why did you lock me in the coal shed? All I ever did was love you. <laughs> Bars, you're freaking me out. I'm going to leave. <laughs> and no. if you're thinking that this is the mushrooms, it's not. This is how he always, this is how you. Always are. This always is how are. you are. You're, you're the best in the biz. Not, not only are you our favorite genuine rock star on the planet, but like 
Your personality always destroys in every interview. You've been on Drinking Bros a couple of times. Set the bar low so I, I can impress people. I, we can't. If we you're can't. like, he's the greatest man ever. He's like the second coming of Jesus Christ. I can only disappoint now. No. <laughs> the only no. direction to go is down. No, Look, you, everybody you can go knows up. you. Everybody but with the last album, you. dude, how many hits were on that album? I would say every one. If yes. you ask, in, in a survey yeah. of my mother and father, 100% of English people said it was great. Absolutely. Yes. So That's what I'm saying. 99. Um, Jesus Christ. How many times have we played that? 99. At, at least twice. Yeah. yeah. Um, you and I. So 99, oh, you, you and, and I. I obviously are like the... That the song was so fun. My mom called me up. She's like, I'm dating a new man. I'm like, oh, here we go. All right. Okay. Tell me about him. Yeah. She goes, I'm dating this man. He's lovely. We met when we were children in uh, North Yorkshire. And he's beautiful, Barnes. And he's written me this poem. And it's about, and I need you to turn it into a song. And I'm like, Mom, I'm a professional serious? musician. I'm not just going to turn some like weird. And it was weird. And it was like, oh, babe, I can't see you. And I can't smell you. But I want to. you like dark matter. <laughs> and I was like, Mom, that's creepy. I don't want to think about some guy smelling you. Yeah. And I saw, I said, please, you know. And I love my mom. We're, right. like, we're like best friends. I'm like, all right, I'll do it. Sure, but there's boundary issues there, <laughs> there's right? Boundary issues. There's a little, I can already sense there's some boundary so stuff. the sex stuff, you know? Sure. For and the you most went part. With, you went with you and I, and, and that's I real. And I a song about the story of how they met, which is quite interesting. Yeah. You know, they basically lived uh, in like an 80s rom com together. Mm-hmm. This kid was super, super poor. Uh, he used to work on the potato farm, and this sounds made up, but it's true. Okay, I and never know would, with he, you. His dad would, I know, and yeah. he would follow behind his father in the car, and this guy would throw sacks of potatoes surreptitiously, and his dad would pull up and grab them, and that was their dinner. I mean, like, very, very, very poor, okay. this family. So, my mom goes off to university. She wants to get as far away from her grandparents as possible. My, sorry, my grandparents. Uh, right, right. And uh, they were dead, of course. Yeah. Sure, sure. <laughs> Dig them up. Super dead. Yeah, yeah, Get yeah. away from me. You're yeah. cramping my Where's style. Where's the holograms? <laughs> Where'd all your hair and teeth go? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. You're far too old and unsightly to be in my company. I'm afraid. Off to the retirement home with you. <laughs> Off you go to die. Bye. Say hi to Andrew Cuomo. Um, and then what So happened? anyway, so she goes off from North Yorkshire to Plymouth, which is like as far away as you can get. Well, this dude, without any money in his pocket, gets uh, one car after another, and he's hitchhiking from Yorkshire all the way to Plymouth. Goes to find my mom, no cell phones, it's in the 80s. And he gets there, and he's like, have you seen this girl? You know, he's got this picture, like, have you seen her? She's the love of my life, you've seen her. Finds out through someone else that my mom has not only left but she's met another guy and she's dating him. And I thought that was like the most beautiful tragedy, oh you know, that they God. should end up together years and years later, yeah. you know? Um, and so I wrote the song about that. Yeah. And uh, now my mom's broken up with him. Oh, well that's Shut good. Up. No, that's fine. You made me write a song about some random yeah. ass dude. Yeah. No and then way. now you're po- going to leave. Poured all of my efforts into this tune, like tune about this guy, and he's not even here anymore. God damn it! And it is playing in like Walmart's. You and I, before we went on air, I was like, dude, we heard it in like Walmart's, uh, like the dentist. Every, that, That's why I always say huge. to chicks at clubs, like, you like the dentist? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you like Walmart? Have you ever been to CVS? What would uh, What would you do if I told you that they play my music in all of those places? <laughs> <laughs> That's huge, baby. Baby, come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> But it's huge, and it's like it's one of those things. That's what like, I say as well. It's huge. You don't, it's one of those. Things. It's one of those things. You're gonna be shocked by it. I uh, know, right? Small dick energy, but I'm telling you, once you get down to it, it's impressive. Relative. I promise. To other guys. I promise. I would imagine. Yeah, but it's in, in all sincerity, it's one of those things when you hear a song that is that big and uh, same with 99, like that are playing everywhere and all the things. You're like, oh well, shit. He must be. A gajillionaire. He must be the richest dude on the planet. Oh my god, dude! I have been through some troubles. I think my accountants were robbing me, and if they weren't, like I've then fucked it was up. Just you. It's the deal. It was yeah. me spending all my money on women and Uber Eats. <laughs> right, right. You're like Johnny Depp. Like, guys, what's the problem? They're like, well, all you I did Ubered. was fire Hunter S. Thompson's ashes out of a cannon. Yes. What's the <laughs> I, problem? Now you're telling me I'm broke. Yeah, I'm suing you now. I'm right? Jonathan Depp. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jonathan <laughs> surname. Jonathan Livingston Depp. Have I you have seen a- my movies? They're goddamn fantastic. <laughs> right? I don't know. I'm being very honest. I do not have any money. Which is crazy to me because, again, like, do you hear an album like that, and it's to me, and everywhere else I've gone, it is played over and over and over again. I was just like, all right, it's Barn Courtney. Um, 
the last time you were on the show, we looked up your Spotify numbers. You're into the hundreds of millions ah, of streams. What you don't understand about the major record label industry is that I get 20%, right? Mm -hmm. 80% goes to the label as a gift. And then with my 20%, I pay back all the money I yep. owe them from making the album with interest. And they skim my touring and my merch. And I had to suck a guy's dick in the parking lot just for that privilege. God yeah, damn but you, it. And that he was, was sweaty. That you yeah. did He was already. so sweaty. Yeah. <laughs> that you didn't. And I had to pretend like I couldn't even it. taste it. So you, yeah. you sucked it. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, and you sucked his dick to get the deal, and then after the deal, you had to still suck his dick. Like, <laughs> I hey, still man. had. To, I was like, yeah, that's a one-time thing. Yeah. 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 You lied to me. And he's here Virgin with us Records. today, guys. Come, yep, in, guys. Yep. Come on in. We brought him in. Bring the microphone in. We're going to put him on. Um, for the audience, though, in all sincerity, like they don't understand. Most people don't understand about the music industry. What do you get per stream? Oh, fucking nothing. I get like a handshake and a wink. Yeah, and uh, if you can't tour, which is I'm what living you... off the fumes of an oily rag right now. You but know? isn't it like yeah. a half a cent or something crazy like that? Or, or, or 0 0.3 of a cent, something like that? Mm, uh, He's like, I don't know. I didn't see any of that. I, I, mean, I, have a, of I have 100 million like streams on one song. Yes. And uh, I cannot afford to buy a one bed apartment. God damn it. But what I would say is I've also poured all the money I've made back into touring. Because until yeah. you play to a certain number of people a night, mm -hmm. if you're a solo artist, you're paying the band. Every night, yeah, I'm paying yeah. my guitar player, my bass player, you know, the drummer, the merch girl, the tour manager, the sound engineer. I'm Just paying so some guy to stand there. there and give yeah. me compliments because I'm very insecure. Sure, you know, and it gets expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we were, you know, it's funny. I was talking to Chuck Liddell because he was on the right before you, and um, uh, we we're talking about a friend of ours, Tim Kennedy, who's been on our shows a bunch. And Tim was the one who said, "Hey, man, in UFC, like, um, you know, because he got crushed in this one fight, and that was kind of the end of his career, right? Not his fault." Uh, he was training for another fight and it got pushed. Um, but by he goes, by the end of it, after I paid trainers, managers, agents, all this stuff, he was like, I made 27 grand for that one fight. And I was like, oh my God, dude. I had no idea. Um, and with musicians, it's the same way. We're like, you're paying for all of this shit, including your music videos. Dude, I'm sailing into the oblivion right now. This is fucking crazy. Yeah. yeah. I've never been so high on it. I know, the interview. mushrooms are really... Because he was like hearing, he was hearing the leather kind of... Yeah, can you hear that leather? Oh. I can hear every ounce of leather on my body <laughs> and feel the collective some... souls of all the mammals that I've wronged. Let me ask you some drug questions so you there do mushrooms. I'm sorry, but that is terrible, and artists are exploited, and we should yes. mention that. So yes. I but, don't want to discount your statement. No, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, your, your all, statement but, but what you're saying is real. Because of my terrible life what, what choices. You're, what you're saying is real is like, hey man, you're not rich or anything else, correct? No. no, I mean, you know, look, if you're Drake and you're killing it, then you get the money. But if I wanted to make money, I would have become a stockbroker, you know? Right. Stonks. Yeah. I wouldn't have been like, I'm gonna go out. I would buy stocks from you. I mean, just right now. Right? Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'd be incredibly like, lucrative business. <laughs> Don't your, ask me what tip? it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just give just me invest. the money. Yes, yes. And yes. I will perform <laughs> spectacularly Don't Don't with worry. flying colors. <laughs> One stonk tip, go right now. You have 10 seconds. Stock, what are you recommending? I would recommend if you, sir, are buying. Yep. And trading yes, stocks, yes, right? Yes. That you invest heavily yep. in me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the WeWork guy, right? Yeah. Like you're just investing in him as a person. Yeah, that's all you're doing. You're gonna lose all your money. But my, that's what people did. My value is about to skyrocket. <laughs> look at, when you look outside, you look up, what do you see? Oh, I, I like I, it. I see the Hollywood sun. I sky, see motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, is that you? You're the sky. Where are the limits? I was going to say the lights, and you're the bright lights in the fucking Hollywood sun. Well, no. I tell you what. The product that I'm bringing is the sky. And me, I'm like a dragon yeah. sailing on through it, yeah. flitting about on the winds of fashion as everyone looks up. Who's that? What's that magnificent beast floating above our heads? It's Barnes, <laughs> and he's here. To take your money. Oh, um, <laughs> um, I'm getting the my drug guy back. Can you get I, the drug guy back in here? I now want my I checkbook. want in on all of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I want my checkbook because I'm in. Yeah, I'm Jesse's in. in. She's susceptible though to oh, uh, I'll just, I'll, scams, cults. Yeah, all someone's of it. gonna if someone comes and says the right thing, I'm in the cult. Yep. I'm doing the thing. I'm investing the money. I am the mark. I am right? scaling Cupid's summit right now. 
I yeah, mean, yeah, like, yeah. Is holy like really shit. Yeah, it's crazy, high? right? It's this crazy. shit thrust so, me right the way up the top of Pleasure Mountain and shoved me off the other a, side. Yeah. He said it was a mic- micro, macro dose? I saw him he pour said a micro, lot but in he poured that shit think, in. Yeah, yeah in I don't think drink, it yeah. was. My hands have got all cold. I is that all right? They're clammy. I think you're going to be fine. This is like the first time I did LSD. I was there. I've been on tour for like three months. I was exhausted. And I came back and this chick called me up and she was like, Barnes, you know, we're going to this magical soul searching venture out into, uh, where was it? Wales. The parking lot. Yeah. Wales, Wales, yeah. The parking lot in Wales. <laughs> and uh, I was like, fuck off. I'm not going. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> so I went. Right. Of course. Cut to. I'm and there. I was exhausted. And I sat down. I'd had all these Red Bulls. And across from me is Ollie Sykes from the band Bring Me the Horizon. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing here? My childhood hero, Oliver Sykes from Bring Me the Horizon. <laughs> and he, do, he goes, well, here's your acid. And I'm like, the fuck? I've never done acid before. I don't want to look uncool in front of all these sites. Sure. How old are you at this point? Oh, this wasn't that long ago. I was like maybe 28. Oh, I fucked last year. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so, uh, Young and spry. Yeah. yeah, 28. So I take that shit. Yeah. Sure. And I'm just like, you know, it, I became the person I wanted to be, the yes. center of attention, which is my life's goal. Absolutely. You know, I was singing a song about salmon to everybody for like the better part of an hour. Yeah. Love all it. the men went downstairs. Suddenly I was surrounded by all the women at the party. One of them, his wife, bizarre, I shouldn't tell this story. It wasn't his wife. It was sat down in front of me, rubbing her lips around my lips in a circle as all the oh. other women sat on their knees and watched. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. Like, ah! I need an adult. I'm scared and confused. I'm not used to this much attention. And then it turned on me. It turned on me. And I went downstairs and I lay across the sofa, unbeknownst to me. A load of people already sat there, all freaked out. I'm sort of like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> so they all leave. And then my friend who invited me comes back and she's like, Barnes, you just got to let go. You just need to, and I'm like, I'm going to die. And the last thing I'm going to hear is some fucking Californian Oprah bullshit from this woman as yeah, I'm Yeah, yeah, let leaving. it go. Yeah. And then I, she took me outside into the dark, and I just started bawling, just like crying and crying. And I, I felt compelled to tell her the truth. And I was like, I want to make passionate love to all of your friends. <laughs> just like things you don't need to say. Shut the sure. fuck up. What did she but say? But maybe you do. She was yeah. like, oh, great. I mean, I'm supposed to be there with that chick, you know? Oh. <laughs> so you're just, okay, and this is the exact thing I was talking about where Xander was your t- touchstone, right? Like he gave you the drugs, oh. that's the whole, it's the I got rule a rock and roll of... image to uphold. I can't say no to drugs. Yeah. I know. That's True. my whole, and now I'm sitting here freaking out I'm on the precipice. Yeah. yeah Gotta do no. an interview. Yeah. No, 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 you're fine. You're fine. You're right where you need to be. I can see colors. You're right where you need to, well, we can all see colors. The weird you... thing okay. about, there you go. There you go. I can see colors too, what? Yeah, Stevie Wonder you're couldn't. fine. Stevie Wonder could see shapes, not colors. That's true. Um, but when you walked in, we had to give you a heads up of like, hey man, we're we're in Koreatown. This is a karaoke studio where we're shooting at right now. So and these, these colors are changing. These colors are real oh, and they are God. changing, by the way. Um, thank God for that. Uh, since yeah, you are good. this high, then we're gonna get some honesty out of you here. Um, the 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 four song LP that you released uh, was incredible, by the way. That's so nice of you to say. Yeah. Yes. Um, the first song I told you right before we went on air. Sounded like it should be like the anthem for every fucking Tom Hanks movie or, or Independent something Independent film or yes. like the girl with the arm out the window. I you message know. Tom Hanks every day. Well. Do, do you? You should write him a, a dear, letter on a Dear typewriter. Tom Hanks, now that you've seen my penis, right. <laughs> perhaps you'd be interested <laughs> in my song. Because that's what Tom dear Hanks Tom does. Hanks. He goes dick pic and then genuine yes. message. <laughs> now yes. that I've got your attention, yeah. let yeah. me talk to you about Hanksy. a business opportunity. <laughs> Barnsy and Hanksy. It would be a great and show. Hanksy. The Barnsy and Hanksy show. I love it. Rated R. <laughs> yeah, definitely rated R. Um, NC-17. Did your, did your label put that out or did you put that on your own? Oh, I mean, they didn't want to put anything out. I was just like, i got to release some music, you know? Yeah. Got all these tunes buzzing around in my brain box. i got to release them. Where'd you record it? In my dad's house. Are you fucking serious? Fucking Rock and roll. Yeah, in your just dad's you? house. you? My dad's in there, sort of furiously looking on. Why didn't you become a lawyer, you shit? No shit. No, my dad's Is he like, amped about it? Like, is he amped about they all have your... To be. Oh, my dad's a hippie. Okay. Okay. So he must fucking love it, right? Yeah. He loves it, but he's like, the bar is Zeppelin, dude. Like, you can't oh, come in here yeah, with yeah, it. yeah, 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 you know? yeah. Like so that. he's comparing He's like, I actually like that out of a dad. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. It's Zeppelin yeah. or you're a fucking failure. Zeppelin, exactly. Yes. Holy shit. Yeah. And that's the way it should be. I don't have John Bonham, dad. 
Yeah, I'm just I'm just one dude by himself. I don't have you know fucking Jimmy Page standing next to me playing his guitar with a fiddle stick. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> so how did you do the four songs then? Did you do all the instruments yourself? Yeah, I mean, but it was only you know like some fucking guitars and me sort of playing some drums on a keyboard. It was a little pared down, which I kind of like. But we right? liked. I th I thought that was yeah, part yeah. of the whole thing. I didn't know yeah. you recorded your dad's house. I suppose, but I wanted it to be a global phenomenon. It was pretty goddamn it close. It is to me. To be honest with you, yeah. Um, how many streams is in that fucking thing In my world, have? never enough. Never enough. I want it's all of the enough, streams. Yeah. Your friends should pull up your Spotify streams right now so we can ask and I get want actual numbers. Your numbers are insane. Like, they, but I'm terrible at self-promotion and Instagram. I don't Here like this, I, the ideals of being a digital yep. hunchback and staring into the cold, beady eye of my telephone screen. You We've know? had this conversation yeah. a thousand times on the show. We don't either. I'm like, a performer. I don't yeah. want to perform for this shit. Yeah. So you need someone need to some, be like the anyone. business side of it. Yeah. I need someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk about... I haven't well, been touched looking. in a long time. Oh, we know. We know. We're going to get deep into the therapy of <laughs> this in a, in a second. Look at the Alone song. What, what, how many streams do they have? Don't tell them or lie. No, we need to. I, we need the numbers. The numbers are fucking. Actually, the insane real numbers you don't have to. Inflate, it didn't go I into bet. the millions on YouTube. Well, uh, YouTube, YouTube. Look, YouTube's YouTube, man. <laughs> oh, shit. What do they know battles. about talent? Yeah, yeah. yeah. charlatans. <laughs> yeah, with YouTube. I don't need YouTube. <laughs> but Spotify is one of those things where it's like you can't cheat, and um, you know, as soon as you look there, you're like, oh my god, Jesus Christ, this is impressive. Um, was it I, not was it not impressive to your dad or anybody like that when you were like, hey dad, things are going well. Do you love me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah is this yeah. enough for you, father? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've yeah. exposed my penis on the internet. <laughs> is that enough for you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> Look the, me in the eye. <laughs> I'm the same way. Was like, he amped about it or no? Oh, I don't know, man. My dad's always like, well, you know, uh, Kalahari Bushman make phenomenal music every day, and yet they're never on the radio, are they? No shit. So he, okay. Everybody's got a so fucking kind of dad like that. It. Somebody's yeah. got a dad like that. I yeah, don't, yeah. luckily, but holy yeah. shit. <laughs> if don't... he compared me to Bushman in Africa uh, making music, then well, I would... I think what he's saying is like, look, just fucking do it. Like, you don't, don't do it to be on the radio. There's fucking people making music all the time, although... I'm sure they, he'd like you to move out, but yeah, yeah. never move out of my dad's I house. I wouldn't. Never. I did. I already did. But the last you show you were calling him your roommates, which I loved. Um, I only went there for COVID. I was scared. I thought that the whole of society was going to degenerate into like a Chinese <laughs> yeah, police sure. state. I'd be chained to a lamppost. But I don't have it. I'm sorry. Yeah. And who's <laughs> to say it hasn't, right? So let's talk a little bit about the, uh, you know, pandemic and how you have been dealing with writing i heard you talking to people out there because you know we totally wore you out having you talk to other people out you there did. for and then hours right but i did burritos. hear you talking about uh you know finding things to write about when you don't have a lot of input right like somebody mm. says like it's hard to get output when you don't have input right so yeah. watching things being around people like life experience how has that been for you and I don't, it's okay if it goes back into a depressing thing where My you My life is very hard. I have to yeah. write all these songs all the time and like... Do you have stuff to write about Make up about, lyrics though? about stuff and sometimes I have to dance with my shirt off on a stage. Yes. I just don't think people know how, how much I suffer. Yeah. It's a lot. Oh, well, I have we to know sit, now. On a, sit on a bus and play video games and right. hang out with strange and exotic women. Yeah. But I guess that goes back to where you're getting, where you usually get ideas for songs, right? So are Very those astute. Things it's not, true. Are those things not around you right it now? It was much easier to write when uh, I was sort of had holes drugs. in my shoes and, yeah. you know, couldn't afford to eat as much as I'd like to. Sure. And my girlfriend was being like, baby, like, when are you going to get a job? Because it like be really nice to have some money. Yeah. yeah. You're you like, know. no, I need input. I can't yeah, have yeah, output yeah. if I don't have input. I can't have output if I don't have input. Now get some fucking input. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I took the pills. <laughs> you just have to be patient. <laughs> but you, you're working on a new album now? You got an album coming out next year? Is that, yeah. is that the label or is that you? Until I had this mushroom coffee, I was feeling pretty good. Sure. Yeah. Oh, my God. That That's what Xander does. Crazy. I, I was sipping he ruins it, shit. and I felt all right. And then just kidding. Before the interview, I was like, oh, I feel fine. I'll just down a bunch. And fuck me. Yeah, yeah. No, I think it's good. No, like, I'm I, telling you. I think it's like, let it like let say it whatever. Let it go. So the label. Are I'm they forcing you to put an album on or is that you? I'm riding the big I'm wave. I'm riding the big wave. Uh, I'm riding at least. The, the label, I left the label. Okay. So okay. you got a new one. 300, right? 
The 300, they're fucking awesome. Yeah. Rob oh, yeah. Stevenson, the head of the 300, has spoken to me more times in the last week than I ever spoke to the guys at Virgin. There you go. Ever. That's he awesome. He called me up today. We had this amazing conversation about Goat Ye, how the guy's like a genius, and he's traveled the world collecting rare sounds, commissioning strange ancient instruments that you've never seen or heard before. Mm -hmm. There's a cave somewhere in America where... In the 30s, the guy hollowed it out, all the stalactites and stalagmites, mm -hmm. right? And uh, he made it into an enormous organ. Shut the fuck up. When there was like, listen, I'm goat yay, you know? And that song, yeah. that is just somebody I used to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, wrote yeah. that Wait, shit. I, is it guillotes or goat yay? I don't know. I would say that he's probably saying it right, but no. I would always say I think he's a barnyard enthusiast, and he put that in and his that name. that guy was fucking cool Goats, and weird yay. Shit. Right, that's yeah, it. My yeah, name, yeah. goat yay. Goat yay. Anyway, so he's like, listen, motherfuckers. Let me play your cave organ. You know, I ain't gonna break it. Yeah. I'm a goat yay. <laughs> I'm a genius. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm on the wave now, too. Do you know what I mean? I'm on the wave, known as Barnes Courtney, <laughs> and I'm into it. I'm getting contact mushroom high. Is that yeah. a thing? Uh, is that a thing? Does he, does, I don't does, know if this is so difficult. Did, hey, did Goat Yay let, let you play the organ in the stalactite? Lay down for a bit. Did he let you play the, the organ in the stalactite hole? Well, it's not his, it belongs to the state. Of so state of, of what state? I don't no. <laughs> Wherever they have fucking caves I'm like not that, I'm not in my mind. true. And slag mice. West Virginia. But I'm so, happy that you have someone that actually sees the fucking genius. I hope. We'll see what happens, right? They always start out that way. He's amazing. That's great. Gyo? I hope he keeps. No, his manager is oh, new. Okay, cool. You know, whatever label. But so Goatye's collected all these sounds. <laughs> sure. And he's like, but Rob Stevenson is like, dude, he's such a perfectionist, he'll never release that shit. Ever. Oh, that's your style, dude. So he's like collecting, <laughs> he's sitting on this massive, like, you know, Mount Everest of like interesting different bits and bobs from around the globe, and yet it will forever be shrouded in mystery. Whoa. Wait, you're not using any of it? It's not for me. Goat has got it. No, no, but he wanted to be like, hey man, I get your I get your vibe, dude. I'm just gonna lay down here for I'll a get second. your vibe. I, go ahead. I go would ahead. say this. Are we able to get a camera down there, Joel? Uh, yeah, yeah. there you go, Joel. Joel's there got it. Don't worry, we'll go handheld we'll go on hand you, buddy. With that. Oh. I, if I were you, I would ask Dude, I'm so Ye mad Goat at Ye. Xander. <laughs> but by the way, I would ask Goat Ye and say, Hey man, yeah. why don't you give me some of your shit? Sure. I wanna make some new music and it's and it's rad. You got a good shot down there, Joel? But go go yeah, handheld yeah. with it, Joel. Yeah. I'll shuffle you about. Go, you go from the top. You can move it over. Can't go handheld, as Giorgio's yeah. saying. No, huh? Oh, okay. Can you see me? What do you think there? There, there he is. is. You got him? Beautiful. Does this please you? Yeah. <laughs> do you there like this? Barzi, this? can I tell you this is like one of the best shows we've ever done? Ever and done. I love every, is this enough yeah. for you? I love every second of it. So just keep riding that wave, brother. I'm when riding the big wave. When you do a show on the floor <laughs> and we're at a high top table, it I, means you care. Mm -hmm. It means you care. Yep. Um, should we start singing your own songs to you? Because we can do that as well to break no, I think you we out need of this. To give so will him, that haunt his dreams forever? I think it will haunt his dreams and maybe make him more uncomfortable. So I think we need what I we need to do. I feel pretty good. I'm I've all right. I've been a mushroom shaman before. So we just need to find something simple that's a touchstone, right? Guys, like, what's your favorite? I'm here. Let's just do the interview. <laughs> I just place. delivered you know I mean? <laughs> an enchanting tale about goat yay. What yeah, part of no. that wasn't good content? Look, all right, no, let me ask perfect. you this. Don't would insult you, me. Would you work with Goat Ye on the next album then? I'd make out with Goat Ye for the next album. Well, and I'm, would, I think. And I'm not even teeth. gay. I'd just do it out of respect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's got big teeth, that guy. I'd that, lick those teeth. That's the only thing I remember Ooh. about that video. In the, the hopes that I could sort of lick some of the talent off. Really? Do yeah. you think he's that good? I can't name another song besides that. Me neither, but I'm telling you, this Rob Stevenson guy's like Barnes. He's a fucking genius, and if you'd heard some of the shit just popping out of his mouth, then you would want to be on that immediately. Really? I mean, the wow. tales. He was like, he's building instruments that he's found in texts from ancient Rome that haven't been played in the world for thousands of years. Do you need a blanket, buddy? You need a bunkie? I wouldn't mind a burrito. Okay. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we can, we can probably send we somebody to get a burrito. We have burritos in the other room. Yeah, Did you like yeah, that egg great. burrito we that you have? That, that's can a, I have a egg burrito? burrito? There's a there's a whole uh, uh, table for them. We'll yeah, get you like that burrito black, on the floor. It's like a black table. You can just a blow burrito. It yeah, bring him bring him a burrito. There there's nothing like eating an egg burrito off okay. the floor in Koreatown either. Oh. 
<laughs> Some say that's the only way to eat it. Interesting that you can eat on mushrooms because I never could. Uh, no, me You either. could have been somebody, Bonds. Yeah. Now look at you, <laughs> eating an egg burrito off the floor in Koreatown. Yeah, we're sending this to your dad straight away. We're well, I'm just going to answer it because he's not Zeppelin. He's no, not fucking no. Zeppelin. I'll said, never impress my father. Let me know when my son Yeah, would Zeppelin. Robert Plant do this? Robert Plant? I don't know. I'm going to steal his pillow. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Gra- you grab that pillow. Homegirl's going to grab you a burrito there. Uh, and either I way, be good to go. I think you're fine. Yeah, I, th- I don't yeah, think yeah, the yeah, heavy yeah. stuff's going to come down for a while. All right, let's continue. In yeah. full sincerity, like I'm, I'm going to hold up this coffee cup here to this camera. You can see how many mushrooms are actually in this thing, and that's real. So many mushrooms. It just yeah. seems like, it really seems like he roofied him in a way. It's like he didn't even know. He was like, all right, I'll do it. I don't. did make love in the bathroom okay. for over 25 minutes. Okay, well then that was full on. Roofing. I thought it would have lasted a bit longer, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> how, how many sips was this that you took? You're going to go to all the effort of roofing me, and that's, this is what you give me? Yeah, and then you're going to leave? You're going to bring like, this, what's the this D plus performance? <laughs> yeah. I, I might take a little swig. Just Nah. Yeah, just to test nah. out the waters. Is, how strong was it? I mean, I've been sipping it all day, and I felt oh, fine. And then, okay. mm-hmm. But th- see, then my mistake was that I got cocky, and then I had half the glass, as you can see. It, but it. It is, okay, so here's the thing. I just tried it. It tastes great. Um, yeah, Thank bring you. him a burrito. Your shaman yeah, give him a burrito. Here. Your shaman's here. You can have a burrito. I'll describe Thank what you, was in Sarah. the drink, Barnsley. Sarah took a point is of it. above it the like act dirty? of bringing me no, burritos. Okay. Great. Oh, okay. so it tastes like normal coffee. And I think oh, that's, that's why you're bad. stuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarah is far too good for that job of just bringing burritos no, to a I know. drug you addled together. Felt, you and Sarah live together? Yeah. yeah, she's yeah. my housemate. And also, uh, she works uh, on my project as of late. And she's a fantastic writer. She writes for uh, such lofty publications as Rolling Stone magazine. Oh, oh really? Tell your friends. Look at you. Tell your Ever friends. Ever heard of it? No, right? don't, heard don't, of it? don't look at me. Oh, look at her. Yeah, I'm look at her. Yeah, we're yeah. looking at her. I'll look at her. Who, who, who's your biggest article? Who have you written about? Um, Do you have to cover like reviews, album reviews and shit like that? I don't think you're doing that. Most of the stuff uh, that I work on is usually like interviewing profiling artists. Okay. It's fine. Uh, who's the who's yeah, yeah, yeah. the bi- who's the biggest one that you're like holy shit? Say I love me. that person. Say there me. it is. Is that how you guys met? Did, did you do a profile on Barnsley? She, no. We, we met. I was supporting the Kooks in New York, and then uh, we went out to the box, and I saw a grown man set his penis on fire. Really? The actual flesh and everything. Yeah. It was <laughs> fucking nuts. I mean, I was like, wow, dude. Oh, like. God. I mean, I know what it's like to be starved for attention, but fucking hell, like, there are easier pathways to being acknowledged. <laughs> I like right? how you, you could lay on a floor say that and eat a burrito. The floor right yeah. now, like, eating Jesus a burrito Christ. on mushrooms. Like, come on, buddy. I'm a victim. No, I know. He, had, no. <laughs> he had flammable liquids on his penis probably and then he lit on like fire. Probably like a gel. That's probably yeah. how he did it. How, how did it work yeah. out? Did, does he still have his penis? I'm no expert, but I mean... I, she hasn't I would. circled back. Yeah. Well, that's one of those stories where you're like, hey, man, you don't see too many people light their penises on fire. Sure. That's the that's, first that's one. You, yeah, you circle back on that. That's the sure. first one I've ever seen. And what, did it, what, did, what, was his, what was the reasoning behind it? Was it, it a performance say? thing? Yeah, it was a okay. performance art. Yeah, I mean, I it's think like he, was just, he was just beguiled by the juju of the moment, you know? And he was like, you know what? I'm going to set my dick on fire. And these people are going to uh. fucking love it. And yeah. he had conviction, that. and he went for it. And I was like, you know what? Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> it's like eating the bat, right? You're like, I'm just going to fucking do Fuck it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Why yeah. not? He did it like it wasn't that. even no thing, you know? Like sure. it's just a regular Tuesday. Yeah. Is he a musician? Uh, no, I would think not. If he Normal to- dude? I think he carry a tune. I don't know. Hey, he carry a tune. I, look, I, so here's, here's my confusion in this, right? If you're going to light your dick on fire, yeah. you better have a profession that is important enough that you can make money off of I think that act. was his profession. Well. No, uh, like or something. No, he was on was a he stage. A guy? Was he a he was on guy? a stage at the box in New York. You guys been to the box? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know the box. Is that where yeah. he was at? Oh, yeah. Then he's fucking poor, dude. Yeah, of course Dick Fire Guy was at the box. Yeah. Dick, yeah. Oh, then Dick Fire Guy's poor. Dick Fire? Yeah. That guy's super poor then. Um... Yeah, no, I used to see people like that in L.A. at El Cid. Uh, there was a chick who used to come on with uh, uh, metal over her tits and then take one of those saws, like a bandsaw, 
and then fire that fucking thing up, and then sparks would shoot out at the crowd off her. Well, tits if it is an like, old oh. metal tits, that's yeah, exactly. Sweet. Yeah, Back that's again. Exactly what I said. You got a lot of that's nerve sweet. coming here, metal tits, after you set my drapes on fire. Yeah, it's like performance art. Right? Yes. Yeah, so she would come on in between the comedians, and that was kind of the thing, right? There'd be like a you know dog face boy with a fucking rusty chainsaw. He would do some things, and uh, yeah, d- dick fire guy. Never saw that. Um, I I'll feel, take you. I feel. I feel. Uh, Worse for it. You want tickets for Dick Fire Guy? I would. I'll hook you up. have tickets. I'll hook, I'll hook you up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me know. He knows the guy. It's yeah, me. Yeah, let me know a guy. He's got I'm, a Dick Fire guy. guy. You were Dick Fire Guy all along. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no. It was you. You were Jeremiah. <laughs> I would imagine he doesn't have any pubes, Dick Fire Guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I bet not. Like, Unless I bet he you... covers them in wax or something. Right, no, right. That, that singes way too easily. Pubes have not been in fashion for a long time. Where do you go? Do you go shorn? Yes or no? By the time you get down there, right? Uh-huh. You've been out, we've been to dinner, we've had a magical evening. You've been beguiled by my honeyed words and silver tongue. You've come back to my place, I've played you some music, you've sat down upon the rug, you know? Yeah. You're looking deep into my eyes. Re- really? At that point, after all, you've invested an entire evening, you know? You've blown off your friends. What, are you going to see, see a little bit of a lion's mane? You're going to be like, oh, that, that's it, I'm done? No. Yeah. No, it's, it's too late, you've committed. And I... So what you're saying is you have a lion's mane. You don't, you're not fucking fully shorn down there. To quote Megan Trainer, I'm all about that bush. <laughs> <laughs> oh. On yourself. About that bush. Barnsley. About yourself. that bush. No trimming. <laughs> I would have I would have said otherwise. <laughs> only because it's like, hey man, that's gonna that's gonna add an extra inch down there. That's it, the bush, yeah. What is it? What is it that she says? Um I'm pubic Peter Pan, sprinkling fairy dust. <laughs> yeah. Did she say that? Someone think, said that. Is that how it does. goes? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I Megan think that's it. Yeah, yeah. You know, my mom always told me, don't worry about your size. <laughs> yes, I remember that. A bush that. has a little more cushion to hold at night. Yeah. Oh, oh, and I got another. And all those 70s hairstyles are coming back into style. I said style twice. There that was go. great okay. songwriting. That's yeah. okay. We're going to cut that, you know? Obviously. Yeah, but that's why Megan Trader I'm bringing pubic back. It's like a lion's mane around my sack. There we go. Oh, there and we you go. should Gorgeous. see my crack. I'm going to roll. You see my crack? Because just like never, never land. It's, it's never. No, I lost it. No, you're going, Oh, it's Barnes. perfect. It's perfect. Was, I, but guys, tell me I wasn't good, fucking killing it. Look, just it was then. a you good run. For four good. bars, it was a really tell good Tell me run. I wasn't just fucking sailing. Yeah. On those bars. <laughs> Four bars of that for Megan Trainer was really, really impressive. Like, Fucking little Wayne thinks he's better than me just because of his success and talent. <laughs> money. Yeah, I know. His money selling uh, his back catalog for $110 million. Just because he's a really good rapper thinks he's better than me. <laughs> <laughs> How much would you sell your back catalog for? Oh, man, I'd sell it away for a hand job and a smile. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you might get it, by the way. Is that are you coming on to me? Yeah, yeah, that's what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. Where's the HR department? Yeah, there is no HR department. Barzi, you are the HR. Department. Yeah, you are, and you're on the floor right now eating You'd a be fucking in trouble egg burrito. If I'm the HR department, with no, mushrooms. that would actually work out better for us. Yeah, we don't have one. Uh, we don't have one in our media. No, company. you're lucky you don't. <laughs> you're lucky you don't, bud. When are you going back on tour? Mm, probably not till 2022 because I want to come back with like. All new music, yeah. you know, fucking like new ideas, new face. I'm gonna get my face chemically altered. Oh, like the weekend. Yeah. So yeah. I, oh yeah. You know, make myself into a mythical beast, strut out on stage without any eyelids. Yeah. That's the kind of performance you're gonna see. I hope so. God, Who's I that? So. Who's that guy without the eyelids? Who That's is Barnes? It? He's an innovator. Whenever yeah. he, he's a magician. Whenever Barnes is touring again, I want to go. Do you we want to have go to make it happen on mushrooms. So if he said, "Hey, I'm on mushrooms," you want to go see that? Playing However shows I need on to do drugs it, do is a very mixed bag. Sure. You right. think? And a gamble. I I don't <laughs> know why you would say Sometimes it that pays that off right tremendously. <laughs> I don't know and why you would say that. And others not so much. Tell us what, so one, what's what's a night that it did not pay off so much? Um, well, <laughs> I was doing a support gig for L King and uh I, I would say that uh, the drugs began to kick in around halfway through, and then I gave a very detailed monologue about the precise smell and texture of my velvet suit, and uh, 
this took about the rest of the gig. <laughs> and oh, no. I came off stage and uh, her tour manager, who was already angry at me for taking my pants off in upstate New York, um, <laughs> sure. said that it was inappropriate. Um, I mean. That I'd ruin people. And I'm like, listen, motherfucker, that is my time. You know, right? Yeah. If you wanted somebody to go on stage and, and sing be, their songs, <laughs> then you should have got John Mayer. <laughs> <laughs> but Fair another enough. time it did pay off was when uh, a fan put an edible on the stage around the beginning of the set, and by the end I was fucking cooking, and I took my my jacket off. And in, in the band we have a porcelain shimmering frog called Pocket Frog that we sort of pass around to each other. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's it. That's the game. I'm not saying it's a good game, but it's all we got. Sure. sure. <laughs> so I was determined to tell the crowd about Pocket Frog. So I spent the better part of five minutes sort of rooting through all of my possessions and uh, searching for Pocket Frog. And I thought that perhaps people would have been perturbed by that, but then realized upon returning to Portland that all the fans in the audience brought miniature frogs and threw them onto the stage at my feet. Not exactly roses. Is that real? Is that real? That's true. That's an amazing story. (laughs) Guys, just because I'm on mushrooms doesn't mean I'm a liar. Yeah, no, no. No, no, I'm I'm not saying that. I just, you're very good at telling stories. Let's say, let's let's leave it there. I've lived a varied and storied life. Yes. Have you ever toured with John Mayer? No, no. I'd love to. He's a talented motherfucker. You think so? I think so. Have you seen his dick, by the way? I always pull that. I always pull that pick out. Yeah, you said that, but look who was all mouth and no trousers, motherfucker, because there's no dicks in here on display. There's not. Well, look. Single phallus. Did did you pull up John Mayer's dick? Have you? Did you guys see it? The two hander. It was it was shocking. Mine's mine's a two hander. Is it really? Not as big as John Mayer's. Well, mine's a healthy, and I did measure it. I felt a bit ashamed afterwards, but I did. It's a healthy seven. Seven. Okay, was that hard or soft? That's it. Because <laughs> if it's soft, Barnsey, I mean, that's, hey. you're, you're pushing 10 there. That's, that's There's soft. no reason for you to be poor. No, no, my, my friend, my friend, I was stretching to the nth degree to reach that seven. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. seven, afterwards. that seven is the best of my abilities. That, that ruler was going into your skin. I was like, yeah. no, but I did it right. I measured from the top. You don't measure from the bottom. You measure from the top. That is, but that is very, very true, by the way, because you, you can't go from the bottom or else well, you're, you're fucking gonna into measure the ball from sack. your gooch. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah, you can't right. do that. You That's not the right true length of your dick. Yeah. 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 Uh, was anybody around during that time, or was that just for you? Can you corroborate that story? Well, for, like <laughs> yeah. for you, did, did you want to say, all right, I've got to know what I got down there, or, or did somebody else say, hey, man? I'd read the diary of Adrian Mole. Uh, it, which is a sort of like English book about a young pubescent boy discovering himself. <laughs> oh, sounds <laughs> I think fun. it was on the curriculum, bizarrely. And in the book, he measures his cock. And I was like, you know what? It's my time. I'm going to do your it. Time. <laughs> <laughs> so do I measured it. it. Sue yeah. me. I measured my cock. Yeah. And, and how did you feel afterwards? Surprised or not? Well, you know, everybody wants to be an eight-incher. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're Ron Jeremy, in which case you're just cursed. Well, he's in jail now, but yeah. he he deserves to be in jail. Yeah. He was a dastardly motherfucker. Did you have you met him? I've never been to the Rainbow. We uh, and we, not met Ron Jeremy. We we put him in a <laughs> we put him in a movie as a cameo, and uh, he's a CD man. Yes, three lines. Um, he ended up eating craft services for what six hours afterwards. Yeah, he kept going back, and it was all car. It was like it was like yeah. uh, spaghetti and everything else, and he was just like, "Hey, do you want to see it? Is hey, it do you want to see it? Crime to indulge hey, to and enjoy the great American institution of craft." <laughs> Yeah, no. You're gonna pull him up on stuff. Pull him up on how he treats women, not on indulging in those wonderful carb, carb beauties that that are like mac and cheese and oh, and all the crackers. And they do an amazing job. Those. But that's all I can go (laughs) off of is my time with him. Like it wasn't like he tried to fuck me. So I was funny on that. (laughs) You can't think like that. It's like, well, you know, the face eating leopard didn't eat my face. He's eating faces though, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, Someone should stop that guy. Yeah, Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, you always say that all the time. Like you, you feel bad that you didn't, you know, Nobody me too, you. you didn't, oh, yeah. No, yeah. like Ron Jeremy didn't want anything to do with me. That's how I felt That's about crazy. growing up as a young lad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. like nobody fucking tried to arm with me. Right. Was I an ugly kid? And I'm sure you were a little cutie. I thought so. Right? <laughs> nobody want a piece of this? Yeah, you're, you're walking around like, Excuse Hello. me, sir. I am goddamn adorable. 
<laughs> now put your Not hand on my buttocks you? and get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a story about that, but I was a much older man. Really? Which I will regale to you now. Uh, let's hear it. Go. When I was a struggling musician and I've been dropped from Island Records, I was looking on Craigslist for work, as you do when you're a sort of, you know, desperate nobody, and uh, which I still am. But I have a leather jacket and velvet pants now, so you have to pretend otherwise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I met this man on Craigslist, and he was like, actor needed, improvisational actor required for business games. Must have five years' experience. Well, I thought, you know, I don't, but if I'm a good enough improvisational actor, then he'll believe that I've got five years' experience, won't he? And then I'll have qualified for the job. Right. So I'm like, yeah, I went to the Royal Academy of Improvisation, um, and received highest honors, and he bought it, so joke's on him. And then I went to, uh, the. we used to meet across from the London Eye in uh, the Royal Festival Hall. Now you can Google this, it's a real place. And upstairs, the children's library was under renovations. So we'd sit outside the children's library, and he was morbidly obese, you know, like sweating, just sweaty, sweaty man. It was kind of beautiful because he glistened in the midday sun like a ripe peach. Sure. And um, he would adopt this sort of lordly, uh, <laughs> like, lordly, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Countenance, right? And uh, <laughs> you Nowhere near it. <laughs> nowhere near as I think in countenance. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't that. have pulled that a one out. A man of lordly countenance. Yeah. Yes. And then he would say things like, uh, servant, bring me my slippers. And then I, in a sort of like Dickensian, Oliver Twist fashion, would have to crawl on my hands and knees and be like, here you are, sir. Here are your slippers. I brought them to you. <laughs> and we did this every week for an hour. And I got paid 50 pounds cash. And that paid for my shopping. Okay, so okay, what, what so was he doing with all of that? The yeah. slippers? Presu- well, I, yeah, it's all manner of different items. And, <laughs> and it, that's okay, fine, but, but you- that's it? Well, eventually he wanted to move the whole operation back to his house. Sure. But my jaw was tired, you know. So I was like, no, thank you. How long did this go on for? Uh, About a month. (laughs) What? What? He was getting paid. You're fetching a grown man's slippers? I was was imaginary slippers. (laughs) Imaginary. Oh, they weren't even real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an improv. You needed five years improv experience for some reason. To suck that guy's dick. And then he hired him and they would go up to this place. Yeah. And he would have to act like he was bringing him various items Uh as his kink. And Barnsey is saying that that's all that happened. I don't necessarily believe it, but I'm not going to push him. It sounds ridiculous when you put it like that. Yeah. No, no, it sounds right. It's a kink, right? It's that was his thing. That was his kink. But that's where he started. And as you said, he wanted you to then move the operation, and then it was going to go to something else. But you kind of got your money and got out of there. But did he ever say at the end of it, like, "Hey, man, I need you to suck my dick"? (laughs) Like, "Hey, we're all done with the improv shit. I need you to start sucking my dick." I mean, clearly, clearly that goggle my scrotum. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. So, wait a minute. Yeah. Wait just a minute. Oh, you're not wearing a slipper, sir. You know, <laughs> I just brought it to you. Was there ever at the end of it of like, all right, cool, man. Like, that was all fun and games. Like, he just drops out of English, like British all together. And is like, man, that was all cool and all. But I'm going to need you to start sucking my dick. <laughs> I'm paying you I 50, mean, we 50 can ass- pounds. We can assume from his laugh that that is what happened. What? No, is it? Just because the guy was a pervert doesn't mean that he acted on it. There you go. It's all right to be a pervert as long as you don't do anything about it. That's quite a philosophical point, actually. You right, know? And, and victimless crime. At that point, you were getting paid. You were, you know, you Fashion didn't have to do anything slippers, really yeah. weird, and everyone wins, huh? Got paid and got out. There what, you go. What were you wearing during this? Uh, you know, a little, little nighty and some... Uh... <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> no. No. I was wearing my... I was fully clothed in the Royal Festival Hall outside the children's library, probably wearing skinny jeans and some boots with holes It's in all them. on the up and up, Ross. I don't understand what your problem is with this story. <laughs> <laughs> outside the children's it's library. pretty fucking standard, oh, dude. Oh, what it? happened with this guy? Did you ever follow up on, on his whole life sitch? Crime to be a blue collar worker, get my hands dirty. Jesus Christ. Um, I did not. Funnily enough, I did not choose to stay in touch. Yes, yes. Weird, weirdly one. enough, he just kind of left that in the past. The reason why I ask, I don't know if you read it in the papers or anything, like, oh, hey, he ended up fucking, you know, sucking some dude's dick who was underage and was now that he's in, the in paper? prison. What's that? Do what? they say those kind of things in the paper? Uh, in the sun. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I believe yeah, they say that a lot. I told them that in confidence. Right, right. <laughs> they put it in the paper? So what, your decision to leave was just based on your own, or was he tired of you, maybe? Yeah, maybe he moved on to a younger, suppler youth. As it happens, wow. yeah. Not looking so nubile now, are you, Barnes? How, yeah, how yeah, old yeah. were you? The long gray fingers of age have wreaked havoc across your face. No longer the marble-cheeked youth that I fell in love with. You're now you're, you're, were you 28 years old? How old were you? 28? Yeah, I was... No, no, at the time, fucking hell, I was, uh, I was a young buck of 23. Okay. Okay. I right. was... Guys, I was fucking saucy when I was 23. Before the drugs and the touring and the drinking and the sort of, you know... Uh, vying for people's attention on a stage night after night <clears throat> took its toll across my face. I was pretty sultry. I bet, right? Mm. <laughs> like I mean, don't look, don't look at my I... pictures or anything, but I was. <laughs> no, we'll put, the, we'll put those <laughs> up on screen me, now. Just believe me, just believe me. Don't yep. Google it. Yeah, no, and look, we'll, we'll put those up on screen. And, they, and they worked, it worked for, uh, for old Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, it did. Um, yeah. You ever run into her? No, she stopped texting me after I sent her a picture of a bouncy castle and said, it's popping off, babe, you should come. This place is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, she's over in Europe, right? I didn't know she was hitting up rock stars. She was in Mykonos. Yeah, uh, which is... I got exact, a message yeah. on Instagram from an account with like two followers and like a picture. And it was like, hey, El Lohan here. Call me. Here's my number. You got 10 minutes. I'm like, who the fuck is this? You know, whatever. So, you know, I was like, oh, Lindsay, babe, like, where you been on my life? <laughs> <laughs> been sending Just you a myriad of them, dick yeah. pics for the last 10 years. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. thank God you're here. It's the real Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, Woo! Yeah. And uh, she then sends this, like, picture as a video of, like, my song Kicks and, like, Lindsay Lohan dancing. I'm like, you just fucking edited that over that shit, whatever. So I'm like, at this point, I'm like, I admire your candor, young lady. You know what? Just for that, just for the balls to try and pull the wool over my eyes. Here's my real phone number. You call me anytime. Let's let's you know see where this goes. Oh, I'm it. baked out of my mind in Red Robin in the Midwest, and I get a video call, and I open that shit up, and wouldn't you know it? It's the real fucking Lindsay Lohan. No, no it's way. not. On FaceTime, like, hey, <laughs> it's me, it's me, Lindsay Lohan. And they're like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> So what did you do? I was like, oh, I just had a milkshake. You like milkshakes? Yeah, just fr just froze. At Red like, Robin. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it would be weird. You're, you think Rock you're talking to a fake account? Yeah. You were like all suave when you were talking to the fake. Oh, one, Barnes, and then he takes the real it strawberry. Tell your friends. Yeah. I, that's a boss move, though, is to have a fake account of yourself and then. Reach what out to people, because then you can always say, hey, man, that's a fucking fake account. What and a it wasn't fucking me. genius. So, so she's like, come out to Mykonos. You know, I got a beach house out here. Get your ass out here. So I said to management, I'm going out to Mykonos to see Lindsay Lohan. They're like, absolutely. No, you're not. Absolutely no fucking. <laughs> you're just about to launch into your single 99. Yeah. Like, you're not, Sorry. Like, you got shit to focus on your career, dude. Like, don't be gallivanting about, you know, the Greek islands with Lindsay Lohan. Uh, so, so I went. Um, sure, sure. And, uh, and I got off the plane and I was met by her assistant who was wearing like these, these ragged clothes. And it was like something out of a Disney film. I'm like, did you just escape from the dungeon? Like, what are you doing? It was just Kanye's line. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was the answer? What was Bird! The answer? Bird! <laughs> Take that, Kanye, Kanye West! No, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Sorry. Not so hot now, are you? Your album sales? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And your I career that I so billion desperately dollars. wish to have. <laughs> yep, I showed him, huh? What was go the ahead. answer behind the fucking clothes? Lindsay say, I am a too attractive so i must dress like a peasant oh nice i like that a i like peasant? that jesse that's actually jesse's shit yeah a you peasant a peasant yeah yeah i would put someone in a paper bag if i thought they were more attractive and i was like wanting to impress someone yeah, Fucking yeah. Nuts. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so i get to the beach house Lindsay sat there like you know queen shiva on this like cabana surrounded by like a hundred people you know i'm not i don't want to simp up directly i get chatting to a couple of gay jewelers they're hilarious put their hands down my pants about a million times but i admired their fighting spirit um and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh by the way let me caveat that by yeah not all gay dudes will put your pant their hands down your pants just for the sake of it gay dudes are just as discerning as you and i and uh these ones in particular just happen to have very low standards 
So <laughs> let, let, let me continue. Sure. Yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Lindsay's like, oh my God, it's you. I can't believe you're here. Get in my car. And we're in the car and we're driving and she is screaming down these tiny little roads down the streets of Mykonos, you know, tiny little streets. And I'm like, Lindsay, you know, I like to be rock and roll, but you're going to kill us. You know, like. Right, right. <laughs> you turn f- into like a little prude. We're yeah. going to fucking die, Lindsay. I'm going <laughs> to die in your mini. Right. In Mykonos. And my mom will not think it's cool. Um, <laughs> and, my friends will. My yeah. mom will. <laughs> and um, she's like, don't worry. You know, I've been in almost accidents before. And what happens is my security guard, he just like rides his shit right out in front of oncoming traffic. And they stop way before I get to him. And I was like, what do you mean security? And she points out the window, and this is true. And I look beside me, and there's this fucking jacked dude on a moped just, like, casually giving me a salute. Like, hey, I would die for you. No (laughs) fucking way, dude. I'm like, what the fuck? We get to this place, to the destination. It's Scorpios. It's the club Scorpios. and uh, From the MTV show. I don't know. I don't yeah, watch MTV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody watches MTV. No. So <laughs> they haven't played Van Halen for like decades. Mm, 30 so, years. So we get there. I'm at Scorpios. There's all these like beautiful women walking around and, you know, skimpy bikinis. You know the trend now. Everybody's got their butts out. Like that's the new thing. Get your butt cheeks out. Yeah. Sure. Not Welcome mad over at to it. men. I'm bringing it in. Um, so anyway, we get there and it's a Tyga gig. And the opening artist for Tyga is a DJ. And Lindsay's like, I don't want to fucking sing. So <laughs> she wants to fucking sing? So they give her the mic and she does a full rendition of Eminem's Lose Yourself. And everyone. What? Like, yeah. I'm like, like, does it well? And no. Okay. And I, <laughs> okay. I don't know what I was thinking. And I'm, I'm like, sorry. Like, like mom got, spaghetti, no, lose yourself in the moment. Uh, Lindsay Lohan's doing this. The ladies got balls. Props. You I'm know? So uncomfortable. Props. <laughs> Everyone's around her circle. She's like, you sing. I'm like, I don't want you sing. No, I, I really, you fucking sing. So, so I take the microphone and, and I get up. It, dude. And. Either I sounded exactly like Alicia Keys or they didn't turn my shit on. (laughs) (laughs) I'm giving it everything. I'm like, this is Lindsay Lohan. I got to pull out all the stops. I'm doing all the fucking moves that I ripped off Mick Jagger. New York. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Nobody can hear me. Everyone's like, the fuck is this guy? Uh, (laughs) They killed your fucking Because I'm not famous. Yeah. So that, that was embarrassing. I come off stage. I got a video of it. I'll show you later. And, oh my uh, gosh, please. You know, and um, then suddenly I'm like behind the DJ booth, like Tiger's on. He's killing. He's amazing. I'm like the whitest dude back there. And I don't mean in terms of my skin color. I mean in my personality. I'm like, and doing the white guy shuffle while everybody else is cool as fuck. Um, you know, it's just right. like dancing about. With my little, I can dance on stage because that's like a very specific thing. But dancing to to hip hop, I got nothing. Sure, yeah. sure. None of my shit applies. Especially right, right. in Mykonos. Oh, especially in Mykonos, it's all hot. You know, yeah. refuse to take off my leather jacket for anybody. So I'm boiling. <laughs> <laughs> Super embarrassing. All hot chicks in the crowd are looking at me, judging me and shit. <laughs> uh, and we end up back at Tiger's hotel room, and I'm like, God damn. Well, his manager comes out. He's like, Lindsay, I know you're dead. She's like, well, he's like, I know you're dead. She's like, what are you talking about? He calls, he calls him up. He's like, I'm going to call him right now, right? Calls up her dad. And the first thing, he's on speakerphone, right? And he goes, hey, what's up, my N-word? But like, no, no fucking way. way. Really says it. Okay. Actually says it. Yeah. Okay. He's like, yo, remember that time that fool disrespected us? And I was like, get your Glock. And we hung that fool off a balcony. He's like, I sure do, my N-word. Woo! No fucking way, I'm going to get in so much trouble for this story. To Papa Lohan? (laughs) If I wasn't on Mushrooms, you wouldn't be getting any of this. No, I know. know. That's why we love every second of it. This is going to ruin me. (laughs) Well, my my Lohan, Papa Papa Lohan. Um, (laughs) Oh, what, so what, what happens after this? Like, is it just you, Lindsay, and, and Tyga in the room at this point? Her two assistants stood either side of her, not allowed to sit down, 
not allowed to go to bed. They're fucking exhausted. I'm jet lagged as fuck. I can't go to bed. Like, you know, I don't know how to get taxis out there. Do they have Uber? I'm pretty fucked up. I don't know. So I'm just sat there like exhausted. We're there till 11 in the morning. Oh, oh shit. Were you doing drugs? The- Nightmare. No. But, okay. And that's why it was so difficult. Uh, and if yeah, Lindsay yeah, yeah. was, I didn't see her. You know, she was very secretive if she, if she was. But sure. She got some mammoth energy, that lady. So okay. wow. out comes, uh, you know, fucking Ty again. He's like the nicest dude ever. He's one of those guys that's quiet, but not at all shy. You know, strong, confident, talented into infinity, you know? And the more time I spend talking to him, like the more I start acting like a dad from the fifties. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 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 You just can't help yourself. I'm like, what are you doing? Stop, stop. But I'm like sinking down the plug hole. You know, I am going, I'm like, why is this happening? I just want Tiger to think I'm cool. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, anyway, you know, it's 11 AM. It's dark. He goes to leave. I'm like, well, it was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Super white. <laughs> Good luck with your career, Tyga. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and what, what happens with Lindsay Lohan? So, you, I mean, you're out in Mykonos. She's clearly invited you there. You've flown out to see her. I'm coming down from the mushroom slightly. It's sure. It's getting more and more difficult to commit to this tale because I this is I should not be divulging these things. No, and it's fine. Is it a tale? I'm sorry, Lindsay. <laughs> but did you guys end up having sex? Did you stay for a while? What happened? I, I can't speak about that. Okay. Sure. All right. But you stayed. We didn't have sex. And the story is hilarious. <laughs> what, what happened then? Like, how did you cap off this I want to tell trip? you so badly, but it's going on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, mean, I want to tell you fair. so. It's such a good tale. Oh. Did it involve the dad? Like, did he get involved? Like The fictitious dad that I invented in my mind for yeah, Tiger? Yeah, 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 that guy. That Everyone guy. who I tell the story to, they're like, yeah, right, dude, of course you would have fucking slept with her if you could. I'm like, no, I'm really, but this really happened this way. Uh, so you didn't sleep with her at all? Mm-mm. You, you guys ended up broing out? How, how many days did you stay in Mykonos? Oh, uh, if only the mushrooms hadn't run out. And Well, they've not run out. I'm still feeling pretty fucking, you know, Next sure, level, sure, we can hand sure. you your cup if sure. you want. But you got a lot of deets out of me. <laughs> we, we we really did, did, but like, how long did you stay there? How, how long did you really stay there? Like three days. Okay. Okay. Right. I'll tell you one thing. I'm gonna have to taper back the story now. <laughs> <laughs> I have to taper back the tale. <laughs> but what I, what I will say is that she played this amazing game while we were there. She got big entourage. Fucking Lindsay Lohan, you know, yeah. mega star. We're like going, her favorite game to play with her entourage, right, is um, she gets her security guard to run full pelt with her down the tiny streets of Mykonos. Don't you, why are you giving me more mushrooms? I just, I just, we just didn't know if, if you, you wanted it. it or you just want more Lindsay Lohan tales. No, 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 no. Gotta hear the end of this story. Nah, Gotta nah, hear nah. the end of this story. We just thought you, you kind of sounded like you were asking for it. I don't yeah, know if you wanted it. Nah. All right. <laughs> That's so, how predators talk. It yeah, is, I know. Yes, it is. Barnsey. <laughs> He sounded like he was dressed like he was asking for it. <laughs> so what was the game? Well, she'd run full pelt through the streets of Mykonos with this dude, right? And uh, he's fucking jacked. He's fit as fuck. So they're like <laughs> running down full pelt. The entire like 20 person entourage trying to keep up. And he would run ahead. And, uh, and this, is, this is facts, right? He's running ahead. And he would just shove people, like all these Greeks, out of the way with all his muscles, yelling, Lohan! 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 Really? <laughs> I, dude, hand to I God. I don't love that. I and don't I'm like love running, that. Like, I'm fucking, I don't go to the gym. <laughs> I'm, a music, I'm like, <laughs> I'm a rock musician. I'm not Shawn Mendes, you know? Like, I'm not right. fucking Harry Styles looking all saucy and in good health. You know, oh, I'm drinking all the time. Great. I'm really out of shape. I'm sweating. I'm in my pel- my pixie boots and my leather jacket, like, <laughs> like trying to keep up with them. What, but, now, was he doing this to impress Lindsay or just doing it like that was part of their daily routine? That's an order, motherfucker. That's you know? normal life. She wants to run through the streets of Mykonos. You better make sure people are out of the way. That's your job. Wow, dude. The Holy tale shit. only gets crazier from here. What happened? Barnsley, stop, because you're not going to tell us. It's fucking nuts. It's fucking nuts. What, what happened? I'll never speak to her again. I mean, she's not talking to me now. But, no, no, no. You'll never but it's hear from un- It's a secret code in the world of celebrities that you don't talk about shit, you know? Yeah. Well, you've come this far, so finish it off. Yeah, I've we got to it up. I'm ruined. He's ruined. <laughs> I'm so ruined. since you're no, no, ruined, let me, continue, might as well make really the story you. a good one. So, um, 
we're supposed to meet Tiffany Trump, right? Yeah. We're supposed to meet Tiffany Trump. She's friends, apparently, with Lindsay Lohan. So we're supposed to meet her in uh, this club. So we're all sat in this club, um, like Last Supper style, all of us in a row, you know? And Tiffany's fucking late. And it gets later and later and later, and Lindsay's pissed. And if Lindsay ain't talking, nobody's talking. I'm trying to start a casual conversation with her assistant. He's like stone-faced. Nothing out of this guy. Who should turn up? Two gay jewelers. Love those guys. Hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Went over it. What up? Yeah. <laughs> We're dancing. You know, Barnes, for such a good-looking guy, you dance like dog shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm not even being self-deprecating. They said that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not what you were saying earlier on the beach. <laughs> Did she end up turning up to Tiffany Trump and her coming? No. Ooh. And Lindsay was angry, and my ex-girlfriend was angry, because we're still quite good friends. And, well, I, it was her birthday, and I didn't call her. And I didn't call her because suddenly all of our telephones stopped working in the vicinity of Lindsay's house. I said to Lindsay, like, can I borrow your phone? i got to call my friend. She goes, they've blocked all ingoing and outgoing communication. Who? Secret Service. What? Yeah, that's what they do. They secure the perimeter. It makes it safe so no one can plan anything. I'm like, that's fucking ridiculous. Oh, for because, Tiffany Trump. Oh, because Tiffany Trump. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, was, she was meant to be got staying. Got it, got it, got it. You know, at Casa de Lohan. I got you. So, you know, I'm like, get into town the next day, and I called her a day late, better late than never. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, you know, like, I know we're really good friends, but like, uh, you know, the, I couldn't call you because the Secret Service set up a perimeter and they blocked my phone. She's like, oh, is it if you fucking expect me to believe that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, exactly. What, what are you lying for? Like, why are you fucking cunt? Like, just tell me you forgot. Like, why are you such an asshole? So, uh, <laughs> anyway, you know, the system was beautiful. We actually ended up hooking up in the bathroom while we were waiting for Tiffany. And I think Lindsay knew because she was pretty angry at me as well. <laughs> and so, so was that when she cast you aside and she was like, "Hey, we're all done here. The fucking low hand train has stopped." No, that was the when I sent her the text about the bouncy castle. That was many moons later. So anyway, we uh, get back to Lindsay's place after Tiffany doesn't turn up, and uh, she is pissed, and she just starts fucking ripping into her staff like you guys suck. You shitty at your jobs. You're fired to the security. She turns to me. She goes, "And you." You haven't hit on me once in the whole three days you've been here. Oh, <laughs> did you not? No. You were, yeah. You were just trying to get the vibe. You were like, I don't yeah. know what I can do, what I can't do. There, you have muscly guys around you all the time. What's I'm happening? I'm becoming more self-aware now. <laughs> but right. if, if she hits you up on Instagram, you got to think, all right, she's hitting me up to fuck at that point, right? She's not just a fan who's going to ask me to go to Why else does anybody Mykonos. use Instagram? Nobody cares. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Who gives so a like, fuck about what you ate for breakfast? But did you not know going over there of like, all right, cool, if I don't fuck this girl, like this isn't, like I'm probably disappointed and ruined her dreams? I thought perhaps we could, you know, blossom a beautiful friendship. Barnsley, that oh, was dumb. Oh, boy. Was, was it? Dumb. Wow. Yes. Was it? I hope that you're I tell you a what little was bit dumb. wiser now. I tell you what friend. was dumb, telling this story on the internet. That's what's fucking dumb. No, no it's Actually, great. It's, it's a perfect way to end the show. You plied um, me with drugs and burritos. We did not. We didn't. That's all Xander. Somebody else Both gave of those drugs. things is Damn Xander. you, Xander. Oh, yes, and burritos. <laughs> and burritos. Uh, but either way, uh, there, there's never been a better ending to this show in uh, in the 600, in the 700 episode history. I'm ruined. <laughs> I'm, but I am disappointed that you didn't fuck Lindsay Lohan. So <laughs> me too, buddy. I, well, I there's still time. And they're both still alive. So well, you never maybe know. she'll hear this and be like, "I actually, I really love the way you portrayed yes. me in that tale." <laughs> exactly. You never know. She's a friend of the show, so we'll yeah, know. you guys are fine. Yeah, and I'm sure her dad will appreciate it. Uh, sure, 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 sure. Barnsley, it's been amazing. That When's family's your... powerful. They're gonna fuck me up. No, they're, they're no, actually they're not. They're, 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 not. they're not. powerful. No. They seem like they are, but they aren't. They're and worthless here. That's they're why they're powerful. There. They're lovely people. I've painted them in a jubilant light well no uh, no no you actually made them look badass more badass than they did are. i yeah yeah actually you, you really did, did. for real you really like, did. ask they're, they're the low hands what they think about this tale we will we will yeah we will we'll show it to oh, them you're we'll, going, we'll, we'll give them a little yeah, bit we'll straight right to the to source them. when's we'll the next it. album coming out barnes i'm sorry Lindsay. i'm on mushroom i'm on a lot of mushrooms <laughs> <laughs> look what, at me <laughs> when's the next album coming out um as soon as possible but you know i really like i don't want to rush it I want to make sure that I, that I love it when it's done. You know, in the past, I've, I've been rushed by, uh, by Virgin to, like, get shit out quickly. Uh -huh. And uh, 
you know, of all the terrible things about this pandemic, like the blessing that I've received is that it's given me a lot of time. So I really just want to go to town and, and make sure that this record is exactly how I want it. Well, look, you're, you're one of our favorite artists on the planet. Uh, if you haven't checked out 404, your last album, which was a smash hit, in my opinion, uh, you're, you're the best in the biz, and I have no doubt you will crank out. Attractions of you sold better, so by the vote of the populace, apparently that is the, the better album. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, what's the you love the first album, so we love all your fucking yeah. shit, though. Like, yeah. And that's the thing. My um, kid loves Hollow. That song Hollow, I, there's a million. I, you're... But, one of the most talented there is. And one of my favorite things is like when people are surprising, like they surprise you. Yeah. How you. <laughs> are you surprised? Yeah. Like I've when we first met you, we met you. On the floor in mushrooms. Well, we yeah. met you in Austin and <laughs> I was like, man, this guy's a rock star. Is he even going to like talk? And you ended up being hilarious, open, really fucking cool. So the surprisingness of that is, you know, I partly I, why. Yeah. I tell people that every single day and I still don't have a Grammy. Well, you will. Ever? I, 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 by the way, I'm being completely dead serious. I believe you will, and you're one of those people who just grinds out hits. Um, the last so. time I was on Mushrooms, I was in a tub with one of the guys that decides who gets Grammys in Mexico, and uh, it was him. And uh, <laughs> and you didn't win. <laughs> and these two other girls. Barnes, you didn't win. I just watched the Grammys three nights ago. You didn't. And win. we were all together in the hot tub, and it was like we were just one sexual. You know, we were just like <laughs> we were just having a good time. You know, on mushrooms in a giant tub in this like fancy hotel room that I got for free, by the way, because they complained about, you know, the quesadillas being too dry or some bullshit. Um, <laughs> and, you know, we, we were fucking mashed. And every time we'd get room service, like they, this poor dude, I'm like, you don't fucking treat people like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you treat right. you can tell the mark of a person by how they treat uh, staff. But the help. Yeah, but I know. It, but it. <laughs> Help. But I couldn't help myself. The I couldn't help but I couldn't help but laugh, even though I thought it was morally reprehensible. Um, she would like hide in the cupboard, and then when he would get to the room, she'd pop out and be like, "Her father never hugged him. I've been in here the whole time." <laughs> <laughs> but she was on mushrooms. Anyway, did a little little show at the Grammy Commission, and uh, this dude was there. He's a super fucking nice dude, and so funny. You know, just a fucking solid bro, right? And uh, I got on stage in front of all these Grammy peeps. And I was like, you know, he gave me a really beautiful intro. And I was like, oh, so good to see you, bro. You know, the last time I saw this dude, we were high on mushrooms at a bath in Mexico. And he <laughs> lost it, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I think the answer No, he was, he was so cool about it. And then he was like, Barnes, you know, um, I got an email <laughs> from the Grammy Commission. <laughs> About your album. And there was like one of the people like high up. They were like, I have never been so uncomfortable in my whole life. You had a bath on mushrooms with one of the artists. No <laughs> How unprofessional. Way. And I realized that the way I'd framed it was not a bunch of friends hanging out. Oh, it was like a sort of romantic him. evening. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. That, by the way, the way you just framed it now, that's what I thought that's too. That's what I thought And the too. subtext is that we were on holiday together. Oh, God. You're definitely So I think the moral of the story is maybe mushrooms no no don't do drugs kids don't do drugs look upon me i could be your future (laughs) look at this that's the ghost of podcast future (laughs) don't make the mistake that i made grubbing on the floor with a burrito we can't get a better ending than that Ah! kids don't do drugs for barnes courtney Ah! jesse wiseman i'm ross patterson (laughs) this is the revolution good night everyone good night